Why does two degrees matter? What's the big deal? The measure dates back to the 1970s. Economist William Nordhaus argued an increase more than that would take the climate outside the range of observations which have been made over the last several hundred thousand years. Think he was exaggerating? Well, think about this. The difference between now and the last ice age is only about five to six degrees. So the consequences of a two degree increase? We already know melting ice caps mean rising sea levels, threatening coastal populations around the world with some islands at risk of disappearing. And without those bright white caps of ice reflecting back a lot of sunlight and heat, warming at the poles is expected to be three times as quick as everywhere else. Permafrost, the layer of Arctic soil beneath the ground thought to be permanently frozen, is melting, opening up sinkholes, ruining railways, roads and homes. At warmer climes, scientists say, climate change shows up in earlier springs and longer summers. Good news for sun lovers, but warmer waters also mean an increase in the number and strength of hurricanes and typhoons. Inland, warmer temperatures mean drier weather. Many lakes have spent most of the last 15 years at levels well below average. Forest fire season is starting earlier and ending later. And a longer summer also means more pollen and worse allergies for those who suffer from them. Two degrees might not sound like much, but those two small degrees have the power to change a lot of things.